Hey guys, Justin here with DataSpark, and I am really excited to share with you a new feature that we've just added to our website. This is called My Product Lists. This is really helpful if you have a list of items that are either your catalog, items you're just wanting to track, a competitor's catalog, a wholesaler catalog, um, anything where you want to be able to regularly access the rank, the sales estimate, the price and the price history, uh, how many sellers are on it, um, and you can put that into a list and access it as often as you want. To do that, we want to head over to DataSpark.co and we're going to come over here and click on Features, My Product List. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when you get here is click on Create New List. And you're going to have a couple of options. You can use a Walmart URL ID. We use that in all of our reporting, so you'll find those IDs anywhere. If you want to create a seg segment, you can just pop that into here. Or it's actually in the ID right here if you're on the Walmart page, and you can grab those and put that in here. Or if you're working with a wholesaler catalog or something like that, you might have a list of UPCs. So for example, if I'm here working with some uh, fluval items from Hagen in the aquatic space, and I've give, got a list of UPCs from them, and I want to find out which of these are on Walmart and how are they doing. I can come back over here, and I can either upload a file if I want, or just directly put it into this box. So I'm going to save that. Oh, I need to give it a name. So fluval, oops, fluval favorites. I'm going to save that list. And now it's going to take you to our bestseller view. If you're familiar with the site, you'll re recognize this view where you have information uh, about the, the rank. Uh, let's go over here. You can actually click on this right here and it'll take you right to the Walmart page. You can click on this one here and it'll take you to our product page where you have all kinds of information that you want, including uh, who's winning the buy box on this. We have the information about the current and the 30 day, 90 day, 100 day average rank for the category that's list listed over on the right hand side, which we'll get to. Uh, you also have information about the current price and the 30, 90, 180 day average price, uh, what the increases and decreases have been, uh, how many offers are currently on it, what the rating is, um, new reviews in the last 30 days, and of course you can sort by any of these columns if you want, and yeah, clearly not a lot of reviews on these. Uh, total reviews uh, is maximum of six, so you just may decide this may or may not be where you want to go. Um, the brand, the category, uh, the Walmart buy box percentage to know if they're on there, and what our estimated 30-day sales units are uh, for the, these items. Now, one other thing you'll notice if we come back over here is we'll also show you items that don't show up at all. And those, of course, could be opportunities. If we come down here to the bottom, you'll see we didn't have any matches for these UPCs that were entered. And so you might decide these are ones that you want to go after because you have data elsewhere that says these are top performers. So once you've done that list, you'll notice that it has uh, the list that it'll keep track of for you. So I've been working with uh, several different things. And if I just want to come and maybe I have my hard to find Wii items that I'm always trying to track. And as soon as they come in stock, I want to jump on them. I can keep that list, track it here, and upload that list anytime you want, and you can just click on these. So that is our My Product List from DataSpark. I hope you love it. If you have feedback on it, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we always have this feedback link here, or on our homepage we have a contact us, or you can reach me at justin at datasparkco Thanks.